Hey guys, welcome to SimTech channel. In this tutorial, I'd like to demonstrate how to use an Arduino together with your Raspberry Pi and show a quick serial communication between the two using the Python language. We know what's a Raspberry Pi, most of us we know. So it's a small computer, basically it's a mini computer. As you can see here, I do have my Arduino already connected to the Pi via a USB. Just like you would normally connect the Arduino onto the computer. So now the Raspberry Pi now is our computer. And it has uh, an internet or a, an Ethernet port to connect it on the network. There is an HDMI. I can cast it into a screen. Some audio port and a lot of other things. So, And there are some basics. IOZ that you can toggle some GPIO functionality. So it is a mini computer that can have some functionality of a microcontrollers but you still going to need some sort of uh, dedicated microcontroller to interface with a, a raspberry pi so that you can get a better uh, a result like interfacing a raspberry pi with an arduino so you're going to package yourself a nice unit that can be able to do data logging and all sort of things so I'm just going to demonstrate a quick uh, serial communication using Python between the two. Now, to normally what we do is we use our Arduino with a computer. So, I'm going to disconnect the Arduino from the Pi and I will plug it onto the computer. Now, the Arduino is on the computer. Now, as you can see on my screen here, if I come into the Arduino IDE, now it's showing the port. There is an unknown port at com9 that is a serial port for the arduino so i'm gonna connect it and then i'm going to link it to arduino uno so this is a new arduino ide uh the new version of the arduino ide it seems to be okay so i'm going to demonstrate a quick code here i'm going to write a small code just to demonstrate a serial communication on the computer and then i'll do the same on to the raspberry pi so what we normally do you come into your, your your setup okay just a quick code so i'm gonna write serial begin so basically i'm starting a serial communication so serial that begin to open the serial communication port and i'm going to pass in the board rate into the serial begin function so the board rate here will be your 9600 okay and then after i'm done doing that you can put in a small delay if you want to you can delay like for 100 microseconds and then you come out where everything should be happening inside the main loop now into here i just want to print something into the serial console so serial that print line so that i can print onto uh a new line every time i'm printing so i'm going to say syntec channel just like that and do not forget your semicolon there and from here you can just delay because we want to print onto the serial console every second okay so that is 1000 microsecond of delay now this code is complaining here what are we missing here serial that begin 9600 delay there is no problem there let's just um compile it see if it runs so because this is in the new arduino ide there's still some issues of library and linking with the intellisense okay so the error is gone now let's see what's going to happen okay as you can see the compilation is completed and there is no error so like normally i'm going to now upload it into the arduino so so it's going to rebuild it again and then it's going to upload the code okay the upload is done into the arduino board now i'm going to open the serial monitor so that i can see if i'm able to serially stream the simtech channel okay so i'm streaming simtech channel basically every second now let's say this was some data i was logging and if i want to have like 
a live view of what I'm logging from the Arduino, then the, the only one thing is to make a long serial communication with the computer. But then the Arduino is somewhere outside measuring and the computer is in the house because it can't be outside. And you can see it becomes a problem. But with the Raspberry Pi here, you can then take the Raspberry Pi with the Arduino, package them together, and your Arduino is dumping data into the Pi. Since your Pi here have some sort of internet connection via Wi-Fi, it can then dump the data into a network and then you can get it also from there. So things become much easier. Now let's see how we're going to demonstrate this into the Pi itself. So I'm going to close this now and I'm going to now remove the Arduino from the computer and I'm passing it now into the Raspberry Pi. So now the Arduino is now back connected into the Raspberry Pi. So and my Raspberry Pi is connected onto my network here. So to access my Raspberry Pi via the VNC viewer, I'm just going to go ahead and click onto the IP address of my Pi since it's already connected onto my network. So here we are, we are now inside the Raspberry Pi. Now to do the, the serial communication or what we just demonstrated onto the computer, you should also have installed the Arduino IDE into the Raspberry Pi. So we installed the Windows version onto the Pi. You should install the Linux version of the Arduino IDE. So the installation is not that uh, difficult, but it's a simple steps. You can do it via the console application. So once it's installed, you come into this uh, Raspberry Pi sign here under programming. You're going to find the Arduino IDE here. Okay, there is some other two IDE. This Tony Python IDE is especially we're going to be using it for writing python script okay so i'm going to go ahead and now start my arduino so the arduino ide just powered up and uh, normally when you go into tools you should see the com port if you are on the computer now into the raspberry pi here you're going to see the dev slash tty usb0 so usb0 that is where our raspberry pi uh, uh, this is where the Arduino is connected. So from the console application of the Raspberry Pi here, if you say less and then uh, you buy for backslash dev backslash tty and then you pass the asterisk sign there, you hit enter, you should see all the, uh, the connections, the GPIO, the ports of your uh, Raspberry Pi. And you're going to see USB zero there. If you connect any other USB uh, uh, a device into your your Raspberry Pi, it's going to be listed here as USB one. Okay, now we know that our Arduino is actually connected into the USB zero. If I disconnect here, okay, if I disconnect and uh, just run this command again, you're going to see that the USB zero is no longer there it's gone okay because the arduino have been disconnected so i'm going to reconnect the arduino again into the uh, the pi and run the same command again okay and then usb zero is back so we know that the usb zero is where our arduino is connected okay so i can just go ahead and hit the serial monitor here since we know that we've got the uh, uh the code already running and as you can see i'm streaming outputting the same port or the same information that i load into here now we can also demonstrate that we can program this thing so so i'm going to quickly write the same code that we wrote into the arduino from the computer so just quickly so it's serial that begin and then I pass the board rate 96. Okay. And delay 100. Okay. Then I come into the main loop there. Then I'm going to say serial dot print line. Okay. Then here I want to modify it so that we can see that we are able to write the 
called from the Raspberry Pi and print it into the Arduino. So I'm going to say I syntech. Okay. Like that. Okay. Then we're going to also delay for one second, which is 1000 millisecond. Okay. So the code is finished. Now, before we write it in, let's just write it run again. You can see we're printing syntech channel. Okay. Now I'm going to now load it in straight upload into the Arduino. Okay. Now it's asking me to first save the file since this is the first time I'm running the file. So I'm going to just say, just test. Okay. Cool. So we save it in there and it's going to compile and load the code into the Arduino. As you can see, it's blinking and it's loading. So it's done loading. Now if I run the serial monitor again, so it's no longer Simtech challenge, it's now high Simtech. So we are indeed able to uh, modify, write code from the Raspberry Pi. So this unit here can be deployed. So I can take this, build it in, assemble it and take it. Then because they would add the Pi here got a Wi-Fi module, so I can use a Wi-Fi module to dump data and then get them from some other uh, 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 methods. Okay, so now I'm going to close this and I'm going to just leave the Arduino there. Then I'm going to now open a Python uh, programming environment. So that is Python Tony IDE. Now I'm going to write a Python script that will be able to capture the serial uh, 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 data coming out of the Arduino and then capture it with Python and then maybe log it into some CSV file or that RTL files so that you can analyze your data later. So now to do that, we have to write a small Python script that must be able to connect with Arduino using the serial connection okay so now we can go ahead and start writing our code so the first thing is to also specify our python uh, uh, program here which python environment we are actually going to be using so that is very important so it's usr um, forward slash bin forward slash env for environment and then space python 3 so this will tell our ide which python uh, uh, environment we are using otherwise you have to specify it okay so now we can go ahead and import the serial module for python so import serial after that we have to write a line of code to establish the communication so to do that we can say uh, s data so that is for serial data is equal to serial dot serial okay so now we have to pass the parameters into this uh, a serial function so the parameters that we need to pass in is your your comport okay so we know that according to uh, what we've done here so remember python is still connected into our arduino here so it's dev okay uh, uh, uh forward slash dty usb zero so that what we need to pass there so that's the communication port okay so it's forward slash dev forward slash tty usb zero okay then we need to specify the board rate and this part here is very important because if you put in a different board rate than what you use on the Arduino because that's the board rate that the data are being dumped. Okay. So you, you realize that if let's say we run the serial monitor here, you can see the board rate for reading the data is also the same. But if I change here like that, all of a sudden you see I'm starting to get some gibberish here. The data are no longer correct because I just changed a new board rate. So you have to remain within the correct board rate for you to continue receiving the data so that's important so you have to pass the same board rate there and then some timeout is also important because if the connection is not good then it should time out instead of you wasting resource waiting for a connection that's not there 
so that's a one timeout once the connections have been established you have a serial co co connection window open you need to wait a little bit maybe one or two seconds just to make sure that if there is any data into the buffer that data must just be removed so to do that you can just call the time function time dot uh, sleep okay and then you're going to pass two seconds in there or three seconds or one second up to you but this function here you need to import also the time module so we're going to import time correct okay now that uh, that have been established we can then go ahead and reset the buffer because anything that was in the buffer that need just must just be cleared okay so i'm going to say s data okay that we 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 now know that this s data is now containing the information about the serial communication data so we're just going to say s data reset okay input buffer like that okay and then we can test that we are getting there if everything else is fine if the connection is correct we should be able to to get there and print something so i'm going to print and then what i'm going to say i'm going to say arduino connected like that so arduino connected so if the connection is it have been established we should be able to print arduino connected so let's just try this quickly okay we need to save the file first let's go save it into the document and which file i'm gonna also just say test okay test.py why that's what it is it's a python file so just test okay so let's run okay arduino connected so which mean everything is fine so you can see that it took about two seconds before it's print okay you see it took about two seconds after establishing the connection before it print because it needed to time out a uh, uh, time that slip and then clear the buffer all right now we know that we've established the connection now imagine if i have the serial port open like this here if i try to access again run this python script I can tell you that okay you can see i'm not streaming so let's see what's going to happen here ah you see there is a problem there is a problem here why because the serial port here is already being accessed with the arduino ide itself okay now you're trying to access it again using python now there is a clash it's saying that the, the port is is busy or is not available so you have first to close this okay close it and now if i run i should be able to get the arduino board connected because you can only one at a time okay cool now that we have that we can and and you can also do a try catch so that you don't crash like this a try catch uh, a statement here so that you can catch this error there but okay now now we can go ahead and write a small program so that we can be able to actually get these high sim tech to print into our python program here so that we can be able to log it into some data also okay so to do that we have to run into uh we must run like what a while loop a, a continuous loop that need to, uh, to to keep on running so we're going to say while what while true okay so while true what we're going to do i'm going to wait for another timeout okay and this timeout is just a small one once i access the while loop so sleep and i'm going to sleep for like 0, 0,01 this is just a small timeout okay and then i need to check if they add data into the serial okay now to do that you have to say if s data okay that in waiting 
okay so that means they add data into the serial buffer if the, that value is greater than zero okay that means they add data then you have to go ahead and do something with that data so i'm now going to declare or define another variable that must hold my serial data so i'm just going to say my data okay just to make it clear so my data my data is equal to s data so that's a serial data that read line so we need to read the line okay we need to read the line after we read the line 10 we need to decode this thing because it's coming into the data are being sent like bytes of data from the arduino now we must decode it so that we can read them as normal data that we can store so to decode the data you just going to read line that decode like that and then you need to pass the format for decoding the data. So, so that is your UTF-8. Okay. So this will decode your data. And then also after decoding the data, you need to remove like the end of line because when the, the, the data are being sent here from the serial, there is the end of line, like a new line okay because you are printing line so to remove that you have to add a dot r strip so that will strip that new line from your data and only give you the data that you actually want so you can then say print my data like that okay so if we are able to print like this here then well I think things going to be okay. Now let's let's try. Let's try to run. See if we're going to get data here. Okay, well you see, Arduino connected high sim tech. I'm getting the data from the serial uh, uh, communication. I'm getting the data. Now let's say if I disconnect uh my Arduino from the Raspberry Pi. You see, as soon as I disconnect the Arduino, the program here just clash. Because why? Um, there is no more serial communication. So maybe the port, yeah, the communication is lost. So you have to be able to handle that because even this one here should be handled as well. Otherwise, your program will be crashing. So let's just include a, 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 a catch statement here. Okay, that is a try except okay so to do that i'm going to come here and include the try okay then i need to select all my data here all my code here and then press tab one time so that is to get the correct intent there otherwise we're going to be in trouble okay then now i need to do the catch part since i've done the try part i need to do the catch part so that is to, to catch my exception so that would be accept okay then in, in case it's a keyboard interruption if it's a keyboard interruption so then you can call keyboard interruption okay so that is your keyboard interrupt like that so keyboard interrupt and then you need to print something here onto your console so what can we say here we can say serial communication close serial comes closed that's fine like that and then you can now close the serial port itself so s data that close that's also important like that okay now let's see if i can run this see if we're going to get a different result here okay we're still getting a problem here what's a problem are we getting here it says um hmm. okay let's see Okay, so what is going on here? Let's see if we can access it with the Arduino board, the Arduino ID itself. You said the thing is not available. What's happening here? Maybe 
it did move but it is onto the port where is a terminal let's see let's see what's going on here so ls dev tty um okay let's just leave you and then we see okay so we now got usb one it moved to usb one it's no longer into usb zero this is quite strange let's see Ha ah, yes it's now usb one okay because i did move it to a different port shouldn't it be just zero okay no that's fine okay now let's just change here to one let's change that to one and run again see if we're gonna get something okay we connect it okay now if let's see if i disconnect what will happen here okay you see that because this is a different exception so this try except here is for the keyboard interrupt so if we want to catch this exception then well we need to make a try catch for this exception otherwise what we've done here is for the keyboard so let's run again that's also not available so this pi keep on changing every time you change okay now it's a usb zero back again hmm okay usb zero now we run okay it's connected now i'm gonna do a keyboard interruption so that is control c so now if i hit the keyboard interrupt it's going to catch this exception with my try except here and then it's going to print serial communication or serial comes closed and then it's going to close the data let's try that control c serial communication closed serial comes closed so this is it guys this is how you uh, basically do arduino and raspberry pi merging together to do a uh, quick serial communication so this is just a quick line of code here for testing otherwise you should have a long line of code where you can actually be saving the high syntax data so this data could be coming from a sensor on your arduino board or you measuring the voltage or anything or a temperature and you dumping them using your python to save them okay so and and here your python will be saving the file into the raspberry pi so the the file can get very large where your arduino will not have the memory to hold such a file that will normally be doing on a computer now your raspberry pi is able to do that so this is the advantage of merging arduino and python and obviously there are plenty more uh, applications that you can do merging arduino with a raspberry pi for now this is it guys if you find anything useful don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give the tutorial a thumbs up so that will be highly appreciated thumbs up thumbs up that will be highly appreciated thank you for watching stay tuned for more arduino and raspberry pi uh, uh, merging together tutorial coming up on SimTech channel. Until next time, cheers!